Uh, it's very important for us uh, from the very early stages to play a big role in, our, in the lives of our children. Like I said in my talk, that sometimes a few years or decades down the line, we find that we uh, have not really participated in the lives of our children, so it develops a, a huge uh, gap between us and them. Uh, but in the case where we realize later on that, okay, I made a mistake, what should I do now? Well, then, now your children are adults. You have to speak to them, engage with them, perhaps even apologize to them. You know, people don't like to apologize to their children. I found it to be very beneficial. Look, my son, I'm so sorry. I did not participate in a way that I should have in your life. Now that you're an adult, you make your own mind up. I don't wish to impose things on you, but I just wish to discuss matters with you. And now you treat them as an equal rather than a child because they no longer, they don't want to be treated like a little child. So uh, it's not uh, simple to actually solve the matter where you haven't participated in the life and now that later on you regret and so on, they don't want to have anything to do with you. And then you say, look, Allah instructs you to be kind to me. But my parent, Allah instructed you to, up, to, to bring up your child and where were you? So it's two things. But I'd like to encourage the children, look, you need to overlook certain things, be kind and good to your parents, have a good relation with them. Sometimes, you know, they're sick and ill, they need your help, they need your support. The circle needs to break because what this means is you are bad to them, they are bad to you. And then your children are bad to you and you are bad to them. And their children are bad to them and they will be bad to them and so on. So if you break that circle and you are good, then inshallah your kids become better and so on. And you know how to play the role and inshallah by you reaching out to those whom you are supposed to, the mercy of the Almighty descends upon you. So... Like I said, there's no quick fix to this, but it will be a whole, uh, inshallah, time of uh, rebuilding what was lost through good communication, perhaps gifts that are sent to one another, perhaps listening. You know, a lot of parents don't like to listen. So the child wants to say something, you cut them up and you advise them. But you've never heard the whole story. Listen to the entire story and then be realistic. Sometimes we are so idealistic that we offer them advice that is inapplicable in their situation so they don't want to have anything to do with us. They've made mistakes. Learn to, you know, teach them in a way that they would realize their blunder without actually becoming uh, so hateful towards you because you haven't even tried to help them. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to reach out to our children and even those who've realized that they've made mistakes in the way they've brought up their children uh, I think there is hope, it might take a bit long, but it's all to do with communication. Communication, communicate properly, correctly, and inshallah, ask the help of Allah. And that brings me to the last point here. Please pray to Allah for your children. Pray, no matter what, don't curse them. Some of us have a bad habit, small thing happens and you curse your child. That's dangerous, very dangerous, don't. Pray for them, keep on praying for them. Read two units of salah, two rakaat of salah on a daily basis. And cry to the Almighty, O oh Maker, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help my child, help my child, and so on. You know, guide them. And inshallah, a day will come when either they will be rightly guided or at least you will have fulfilled that duty of yours. Jazakumullah khair.